Hey everyone, mango 7 roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Patch Notes. It's Thursday's update content, and I don't think there's going to be anything exciting here, but I think there will still be some new stuff. Probably just going to be uh, Kana or Nana or whatever you want to call her side story, uh, but maybe there's some other stuff. So let's take a look here. So we have Kana takes flight. Kana, Kana, I'm not sure, uh, takes flight here. Um, typical side story, Pol Polician, Polidian, I can't pronounce anything, it's really, like, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, it's Policia, right? So, Polician, uh, nuts and bolts. So, cool, bomb model kinda gets the bonus, there's some stuff here, interesting. Um, okay, so the one thing that's actually important about this side story uh, for anybody who hasn't farmed Kana yet, which I suspect is a vast majority of people, perhaps there's a stage you can do here that gives you more than it does outside. And even if it doesn't give you more outside, um, you can still farm this while you're farming other materials for the event, right? So even if this is less efficient than um, the alternatives, you're still going to get those pollution nuts and bolts. And that's pretty great. So that's definitely something I would look into once we get this uh, enabled here. We also are getting her air to surface missile Misha, which seems pretty good, right? Like this seems pretty good to me. 30% uh, crit damage, 20% crit chance. And from what I understand, uh, crit damage on artifacts does bypass the 350% um maximum right I, I think that's right somebody let me know in the comments y'all will correct me if i'm wrong anyway um so this is really good and i'm kind of unsure if i should summon because i do want this artifact i think it's fantastic for a lot of the types of units i use specifically and i'm excited for it but i don't really want to summon so what i might do is just buy this with uh uh the powder but I've bought a lot of stuff with powder recently, so I'm not even sure if I have everything. I've already got uh, Hana 6-star max, so that's kind of... Wow, that's it. Um, unfortunate. <laughs> so that's kind of a good question right now for me. Uh, let's actually go into the game here and take a look at what we have available. So we'll get rid of this. Um, so I do have my Kana here. Actually, let's take a look at Kana. Uh, and whether or not she's worth farming and how to gear her, I guess, since that's uh, something we can do, since that was such a short thing there. So, um, first thing I want to do, actually, is check how many of these we have, because I don't really want to summon, right? So we have 170, we're going to need 240. I can do that for sure. I've probably got enough in my storage. That's awesome. So I'll be able to do that. I'm not going to summon, even though I have how many bookmarks? Uh, just a casual 1500. Uh, I just don't, I, I, I want to go ham when the collab eventually comes, okay? I really want to go ham when that happens, so I'm not going to do it. So let's take a look at Kana here. And again, if you haven't farmed it, I really, really, rec really recommend, if it's possible, to farm her during this event, because that would just make things so, 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 so much more stamina efficient. Uh, I think I need some fused nerves to fully six star her. Oh, I actually do have gear on, but it was just for random leveling. Uh, I don't have any Mulligora whatsoever. I've got like one left, so I can't even skill her up. That's one of the reasons why I haven't done a showcase on her yet is because I just, I don't want to show you guys like a plus zero Kana, you know, like that just feels really bad. Like you're missing this cooldown here. You're missing a ton of stats. You're missing a ton of damage. Um, I mean, I guess I still can. Let me know if you want to see that. But these are the approximate stats I've got on her right now. I wanted her with a good amount of effectiveness, even though she has this 40% increase. This makes it so um, she'll have 100% against the expeditions, right? Uh, 94 crit chance. A little over. I think I'm only going to use her against uh, Earth units right now. So I would only need 85. Uh, pretty decent attack and pretty decent pretty low crit damage actually i tried to make a unity set work because i really 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 like the idea of unity on uh, attacks to enemies i think that's pretty sweet but um 
<laughs> this was my best secondary unity piece. I really like this ring because it just fills so many things here. And I'll probably uh, change the health to speed as well. Since you get so many unity pieces, uh, so many unity um, reforged things, you might as well, right? Uh, we've got a pretty decent pair of boots on her. And uh, crit chance with some crit damage here. I have no idea how I really want to build her. The other thing too is I wanted her tanky enough because against a lot of these expeditions, they can take you out relatively early if things don't go super swell. Um, also, it looks kind of funny with uh, <laughs> where the the blasting is coming out of right now. <laughs> oh, Mango, you're so dumb. Um, also have her on Infinity Basket, but probably rosa right i feel like rosa's where i'd want to be just to get as many skill ones as possible i feel like the double attack just seems really really good right am i wrong with that um yeah so i i don't really have anything else to say here i don't want to push this video up forever but i did want to talk a little bit about her as for whether or not you should summon i don't think so i think you can eventually get the artifact or you can buy it now with the powder and you can also get kana through the uh, thing right here and also the event is that much likely to make it easier to farm her um, the 2-8 stage was really easy the awakened hero to five star one time I mean that wasn't too difficult the uh, reach friendly trust level all you got to do is just like click the button and it'll send you where to go that was really easy gift three fuse nerves kind of pissed me off because I needed those uh, but she wanted them and you can't say no to her. And then eliminate 800 floating type machinery. This was brutal uh, outside of the event, which I hope is better. Like I said, it will take like six per run, I think you get, and they're not fast runs. It was just, it was just not a good time. So I really, really, really recommend you doing this now uh, if it gets better. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.